Hey everyone, Richard Metalfan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And today we're going to be looking into this album's 25th anniversary today. And it's, in my opinion, one of the best albums in the whole melodic death metal scene from Finland. And as it's also working for the shirt for the occasion, we're going to be looking into Tales from a Thousand Lakes by Amorphous. As you can see, I have a vinyl signed by the band from when I saw them last October. Um, and I'm also, like I said, I'm also wearing the shirt for the occasion, but yeah, Amorphous definitely doesn't need it. Probably if you aren't familiar with them, a melodic death metal band hailing from Finland, and these guys have been around since the early 90s. Um, then this album um, is their second album, the follow-up to their debut album, The Karelian Isthmus, if I'm pronouncing that, which I think is a pretty good debut. Their debut was kind of like just death metal, almost a little bit, bit but with this album, Tales from a Thousand Lakes, I feel like this is the album that pretty much made Amorphous' sound, pretty much finalized it and just made them what they are today. They, just the familiar sound of their, that they play. Um, excluding with like a little bit more clean singing, um, even like pianos playing, and this almost has a little bit of a doomy vibe to it, like like doom metal, metal a little bit, especially in some of the slower songs. Um, uh, the vocal work in general is just just growls and a little bit and some singing from a I mean a little bit uh, Tommy Koi Vasardi the, these growls are just sick and just his guitar is great um, the lead from uh, Essa Holopeng is just great uh, bass wise uh, the bass is pretty audible you can definitely hear it a little bit from Oli Penka Lane Jan Reckberger's drumming is just superb, and of course, when they adding like different el new elements of keyboard player, Casper Martinson's keyboards is just really great. So yeah, without f and further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now, starting it off is Thousand Lake Lakes, which is a simple, full piano instrumental which delivers a soothing sound of lakes and legends, very peaceful and comforting. And Casper combining a strain of resonant piano strikes with some subtle notation and sort of like lush female choirs synthesizers and electronic noise that like water and bleh, running water begins to fill it out and then of course it leads into in, into hiding which is quite possibly the best song on the album it has an average paced tempo with really heavy guitar riff that drives the song forward the guitar melodies in in this song as well as many others are so enjoyable and meaningful full you will lose care and everything else and Veli Tommy's clean vocals are great. Switch off with like Tommy's death sounding vocals and help the songs out in like very large quantities. Um, the Castaway opens with some the best guitar or is on the album, Immediate and Glorious, which the elven ghosts of the Cold Forest traps it's about uh, uncontrollably. It was like a year year in like 1994 where this came out. Not when like thrash metal had all but closed their grazing gals and death metal felt soon to follow and here comes amorphous to help the, open the floodgates and reinvigorate the ailing metal scene first doom which open which uh, juxtaposes a very few civil rock lifts as some like gloomy lead work and mystic keys and i f i feel as though like missions or field of nephilim adventured into a cave found in the bones of neanderthals preserved in ice um Black Winter Day, which is a true masterpiece that combines everything you would want in a metal song. Catchy tunes as such a beginning keyboard solo, and then the heavy guitars bursting in, and the perfect death metal growl makes for a perfect song. And later on in the song, some guitar solos come, and then meanwhile, the drumming is perfectly timed following the song perfectly. And overall, this is a picture-perfect track, and this track never gets boring and stays good until the end. And the vocals to this song are yet again confusing, but what I got out of them is that the same man is feeling guilty of his crimes when he really shouldn't be. Um, next song on the album is called Drown Made, which speed, and this right here is where it speeds the tempo up for the album. And one guitar plays a heavy riff, and the other plays like a nice melody, like in most of their songs. And it picks up the pace for a winding, churning foray into submerged terror, then so over overarching melodies complete peat for your infection the weight of like Colvisari's grunt and then about like the 55 second mark they burst out an incredible riff drowning never felt this lovely it basically combines a good heavy tune with like melodic like guitars guiding the entire song and three different tunes are really good just come into place during the song 
song and fitting the mood for the, the lyrics, which are played d during each of the different sections of the song. And this track talks about like the death of a maid and the hen where their blood and flesh is poured into the ocean. Um, in the beginning, Ning, which is a much slower, once again, has a very majestic atmosphere. Mystic clean vocals in the background and smooth growls harmonize in a perfect way. And the keyboard solo is sounding like a harmoned organ fits well and adds another degree of diversity to the track. Um, Forgotten Sunrise is a very interesting song. Song and a very the beginning drum beat brings hope for another fast paced song, but instantly after it slows its tempo, making another slow track. And there's many different sections to the song, like it's a bunch of songs combined together, which is a good overall. Um, to Father's Cabin, which is a very different track that almost sounds out of place to the album, but the song itself is well done. Starting out with a clean flowing sound using an extremely catchy tune, and this tra track loses some of its glory in the middle section, which starts about the 40 seconds of the track, and the section is the vocals, which I think are poorly done, not matching the tunes, much the voices laying on board, but another minute of mindless playing, the track really gets back on track. Like around like the two minute mark, in which the song directs a great solo and well flowing beat, and the song ends the masterpiece of the track. Um, next song in here is M Magic and Mayhem, Hem, which is another their amazing piece. And there's like two parts of it. It's very simple, some very soothing keys section, and the fucking wicked heavy faster pace section where the keys are still big elements. I really love this song. Um, and of course, this is a special edition I have for a reissue that came out in 2011. Then, um, and this actually has some uh, bonus tracks right here. And the first being Folk of the North, which is a, another instrumental track using a keyboard and a drums as a, and the bass guitar, or, and then the other guitars join in, which makes the song feel magical and full of mystery. And then, then we go into Moon and Sun, which is a slowly paced song that has a bit of a dark sound to it, somewhat like earlier Amorphous albums, and this track is quite similar to earlier tracks, but with like a different beat, and beat, and I feel like the track like talks about darkness falling over in the land and battle commencing, and then it goes into a sequel called Moon and Sun Part 2, North Sun, which is a more energetic sequel that is a good ending track for this album, and combining catchy tunes with good steady beats that are constantly changing and building up and then going back to slow beats. And this track, I feel like, talks about the ending of all that was talked about in the lyrics of the earlier tracks. And then we go into Light My Fire here, which is actually a cover for originally done by The Doors, and I feel like Amorphous does an excellent job of playing this song with a much heavy tone and sort of like death metal lyrics. And this track has some catchy tunes and overall good guitar riffs. Now overall, Tales from a Thousand Lakes by Amorphous is pretty much the album that that pretty much had finalized their sound. And I pretty much, in my opinion, I feel like this is pretty much the best, my favorite album of theirs. Here's, and this, if, you, if I were to give this album a score, I'm gonna give this a, a solid 10 out of 10. It's really great. Great, and I'm really, really hoping thing they would, they play this whole album when I see them in October with Delane. If they do that, oh my God, I would shit myself <laughs> because it's just, a fucking brilliant album. And if you haven't heard of Amorphous, what do you, and if you're just a fan of melodic death metal in general, listen to this album. You won't be disappointed. So yeah, that's my review of the, the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.